Hi everybody. So we're going to continue with the side bending, side reinforcing uh, series here. And this is a, a set of the tree guitar that I'm working on. And you can see that on this side is the bass side of the guitar. Uh, I have glued these two linen patches and I'm going to set up and um, show you how this works and glue the other ones. So this is kind of a precise gluing operation where the goal is to use as little epoxy as I can to achieve a bond. And the way that works is I'm going to put the epoxy on the linen, not the wood. So the wood doesn't get a chance to drink up too much epoxy. Um, you can see um, a couple of little dots here where the epoxy has leaked all the way through the material. A um, couple, couple of little dots. We're going to try and keep that to a minimum by using the smallest amount of epoxy we think we can get away with and still wet out the linen. So the linen starts out looking like this and then when it's wet with epoxy it becomes uh, almost transparent really and anyway that makes it easy for us to see that all the fibers are wet that's important so I'll set this one aside here's the treble side of the guitar this is the one we're going to work on now so mix up some epoxy I have been using this West epoxy among others um, uh, but it's a, a good room temperature cure epoxy. Uh, I've also used one called MAS, M-A-S, which is just as good. <laughs> but today we're going to use some West epoxy. We'll try 15 grams of resin. And three grams of hardener. It's important to mix thoroughly. <laughs> so if there is a secret to working with epoxy, it's neatness. And even though we can try all we want to be neat. We're still going to get some on us. And that's why we have rubber gloves. So as soon as I get this guy mixed up here. Scraping the side to make sure I've got all the resin. Mixed with all the hardener. Stuff isn't good for you, but it's not awful either. You need to keep it off your body and out of your lungs. So, so now we have these two. These are just pieces of particle board with some clear two inch packing tape on it. Packing tape makes a great release for these things. Um, and we're going to um, put the, the linen right here to line up with those lines on this clamping call. Um, so we have a little time, not a whole lot of time, but all the time we'll need to, to do a good job of wetting out these three patches and getting the whole thing stuck together. So as I mentioned, we're going to try and use the smallest amount of epoxy that we can, consistent with getting a good bond between the uh, fabric and the wood. And you can see, as I was saying, the fabric is easy to read. In other words, we're looking at it and saying, oh, now it's wet. We see it's gone clear. 
nice thing. Okay. So that's about the right amount of resin. We make sure it's, it's in the right spot here with our little marks. And then the last thing is we wipe up any extra we can at the edges. And then we blot to try and remove any epoxy we can get off by by this method, and what this will ensure is that we have just enough epoxy in there to do the job of wetting the fabric and bonding it to the material, the side material. Okay, we like it. So this says out. Make sure it's the outside. Outside the material. It's gonna go right here. Okay.
It's an easy clamp up because nothing's going to move around. We know it's all going to stay put as we put some pretty good pressure. That's it.